Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. This is the first video of a short series which is about Microsoft SQL. And I'm very pleased, I'm very glad, and I'm very happy to uh, bring you this series because I think this is going to add so much of value uh, not only to you but to me as well. So this is the first, first video of this series as I mentioned. I'm going to talk to you about what is my, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, what is SQL in general, why it is so famous, and how to download, and maybe probably a little um, tour of the Explorer or the visual interface of the Microsoft SQL. So this is the whole purpose of this video, and this is what I'm going to demonstrate. So if you are interested, if you want to learn about it, then I'm sure you will hit the subscribe button. You will also hit the uh, bell icon so you get notification when I will add the next videos in the series. I'm sure about that, right? Okay, so let's begin. And first thing first, we will know what is SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is the most simplest programming language, which is similar to writing English sentence. And so that's why it is extremely easy for anyone to actually look at it for a couple of times and then they can start working and writing some uh, instructions. And this is what uh, the beauty of the SQL. And now, what we are going to look at first is how to install. It is completely free. There are paid versions as well, of course, but Microsoft has graciously has given free versions which we can use to, you know, test our uh, databases, test our projects, and even have some training on it, uh, hands on it, on it, and how to uh, do one of these databases in SQL. So I'm going to quickly go out of the PowerPoint, and then I will take you to the website of Microsoft where we can see the download options and we can download the SQL from there, okay? So I'll quickly see you there on the website. So now I am on the website of Microsoft. You can see here, this is the URL. Anyway, if you'll go to google.com, just type in uh, Microsoft SQL Server Download and the first link you will get, you just click on that or tap on that, it will bring you to this website. You can see a couple of options Microsoft has provided. For example, SQL Server on Azure, SQL Server at Edge, and SQL Server uh, on premises. So these are all paid options that Microsoft has uh, given to the enterprise customers. And so if you scroll down a little bit, you will have free specialized edition. And there are two. Uh, one is developer. So what is developer version used for? SQL Server. 2022 developer is full featured free free edition licensed for uh, use as development and test database on non production environment that's crucial that's critical non production environment that's where this developer edition of the sql server is used then we have express edition express edition is again um, sql server 2022 express edition is free SQL Server, ideal for development and production of desktop, web, and small server applications. So this you can use for the production application, but the uh, small applications, of course, you can build. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the 10 gigabyte is the maximum storage that you get. And 10 gigabyte for the databases, unless you are going to store videos or picture, if you just store static data, uh, that is a lot of data, 10 gigabytes we are talking about. Microsoft Access, if I'm not wrong, uh, provides two gigabyte of the maximum size. But Microsoft has graciously given these two uh, uh, free version uh, for the development and testing of the databases. So uh, you can either download Express or developer. What's the difference you may ask? I think if I'm not mistaken again, uh, the Microsoft uh, Developer, SQL Server Developer, includes more towards uh, more options for the development uh, of the application, 
whereas SQL Server may include less number of features for the development. Uh, if you will ask me what did I install, I have already installed it by the way, that's why I will not uh, walk you through the complete uh, installation process. I have installed the developer uh, version, okay, you can do that or you can install the express version as well, both are same more or less, okay. Now it's quite simple as you can see two blue color buttons, you just click on download now and it is same uh, as any other application, it will guide you, it will have a uh, download explorer so it will guide you step one, step two, step three, three step four and so you keep on going next, next, next and keep on ins uh, installing. Once you complete all the installation steps, you are good to go with the SQL Server. Just restart your computer and you should be good to go with the SQL Server. Okay, so that's one part. Now, SQL has, Microsoft has also provided the user interface, not every one of us, including myself. I actually don't like the command line. You know, people, a lot of, you know, especially the professional developers, if any one of you are listening to me, I'm sorry, but, you know, I, I'm not a fan of those command lines, the black screen or blue screen or PowerShell you guys use. Uh, you know, you type in command CMD and then hit enter and then something happened. Um, I'm a fan of visual representation. Um, so I like visual, visually creating the application. I can see, I can touch uh, different things with my mouse. So um, let's move on and let me ask you to check one more thing. While you are installing uh, the Express version, it will automatically ask you, hey, do you want to install the SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS? If it doesn't, if it says, you say, yeah, I do want it. Uh, SSM, SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio is the visual graphical interface which people like you and me can actually use. And so if in case that doesn't come up during the installation of SQL Server, then what you can do easily, you can go to google.com and type in the SSMS or the SQL Server Management Studio and then you can download a version of SQL Server Management Studio. So it should allow you to download again. You just keep following, just press on next and keep following the guide of the installation and once it is done, you just restart your computer and you should be ready to go with SQL. Once you're done with installing all of this, then what you get? Then you go to your start or Windows option and you look for SSMS, okay? Don't look for SQL Server. SQL Server will be there, but you're looking for the graphical interface called SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. And I have already installed it. That's why I have not demonstrated those steps. So, uh, but this is what you will get once you are done with installing the SQL Server Management Studio, including the SQL. So this is how the main landing page looks like. And you can see the there is Explorer, Object Explorer. We have this in Microsoft Access as well, where you see tables and queries and forms and classes and modules and everything on the left side. So taking the similar concept and applying it here. But here we have lots going on, right? So there's a lot of things in the Explorer going on. Honestly speaking, I'm not even aware of half of these things. So uh, I'll stick to the things that I know uh, and I will walk you through uh, rather than I just assume or tell you maybe wrong information. So I will not go into something that I don't know. So we'll stick to the basics. We'll stick to the uh, requirements of what we need in order for us to build the databases and tables and etc. and etc. So you go to databases and this is where the, you can house the databases. Now, this is the beauty of SQL Server, right? Uh, you can, you know, in Access, you have one database in one Access file. You have to create another database for another uh, Access file you have to create. So, uh, but in SQL, you can create multiple databases and you can see them in one place and then you can maybe later connect those databases. For example, I have this Red30 database, I have this uh, wide world importers database. Now, if I will expand one database, so for, you can see here, I don't know how much is visible is this. Maybe I have to zoom in a little bit, but uh, for this video, we'll keep it like this. And next video, I'll see if it is required to be zoomed in, I will zoom in. So I'll explain, I will explore, and then we'll see the uh, tables. And for each table, there are columns and keys and constraint. These are all, I will walk you through 
in the upcoming videos for sure. This is just a walkthrough of the SQL. So that's why I'm not going into the uh, details. So you have the database. Each database has tables. You know, like you can see customer table, customer type table, and products table, you can see here. And uh, you can you can have a new query. Now there's another thing in SQL is called T-SQL. T-SQL is transact uh, SQL query, uh, structure query language. So it's basically you write instead of you use the graphical user interface. I'll give you one example. You can create table using the graphical user interface or you can create table by writing the SQL statement. And I will definitely walk you through uh, the both options in the next video. Because in the next video, we are going to create database and the tables and everything. Okay? So, it's it's, it's going to be very exciting. I, I can tell you, I can assure you. And uh, I want you to install SQL. I want you to install SQL uh, Server Management Studio. And I want you to get onto this screen and then we will uh, begin actually creating the database and the tables. And I'll show you fun stuff, fun stuff in Microsoft SQL. Okay. If you already know about it, then I'm sure, you know, you can tell me in the comments below whether my brief was correct. <laughs> uh, if there is anything that you want to ask, anything you want to say, please do let me know in the comments below and uh, I will try my level best as much as possible uh, to respond. Now you must be thinking, and where are the queries? Where are the reports? Well, we will talk about all of that. Uh, because remember, we will create tables, we will create database, we will create tables, we will create relationships, we will create the um, uh, different procedures, and then we will link this uh, SQL database to Microsoft Access, and we will use Access as a front end, and this should be as a back end. So a lot of stuff exciting stuff is coming up and that's why i keep repeating make sure that you subscribe hit the, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video so once you are done with the installation come in the comments below of this video and just let me know that you have installed the sql so i would know that you are really interested to learn all right all right and that's it for today i will see you in the next one